my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code and today we are going to further dive into HoneyBook and how I use it to automate my business and make things super simple on the back end um, for both me and my clients. So if you have not seen one of my other um, HoneyBook videos, I suggest going there first because I am doing them sort of in order of how you should set this up in your business. Um, so the first video that you should watch is this client inquiry to booking process. Um, and this shows you how to set up a contact form and how to use um, Squarespace scheduling or Acuity in order to set it up so that a client can fill out a form and then book a time with you um, or a call session with you, for example. Then we looked at using email templates in HoneyBook and how to set up templates to easily be able to email back and forth with those clients. I mean, especially if there's emails that you find you're constantly sending to kind of each client, um, then those are ones that you can easily automate and, and create a template for. We then looked at how to create a workflow so that those emails are automatically sent out to your clients. So if you've completed each of these three, then you should be at a stage where a client can come to your website on Squarespace, fill out a contact form, book a call time, and then receive a series of emails to help prepare them for that call without you lifting a finger or touching anything. It just automatically happens. And then you'll get a notification saying somebody's booked a call with you. So at that point, you need to maybe send them a contract or an invoice before the call or the session. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So the first thing that you want to do after you've set up those three is you're going to want to connect your bank account to your HoneyBook um, system. So if you don't have your bank account, then nobody can pay you through HoneyBook. So what you're going to do is click in the corner here where your profile is, and you're gonna click Company Settings. And then along the side, you can click Bank Details. In here, you can add your business bank account or a personal bank account. You'll need to add one of these so that people can pay you. I also suggest going through and adding a brand and things like that to your profile as well so your emails look a little bit more on brand and on style for your um, business. Once you have your bank account connected, you can then go to Tools, templates where we can add in your contract and invoice templates and these make it super simple to send out a contract and invoice to your clients. So the first thing I'm going to do is select a contract. So I'm going to click to create a new one. There is one inside of HoneyBook as well. There's a design service agreement and this is a great place to start. Although I do recommend you purchase one that is specific to you from a lawyer. So I use the creative law shop for all things legal. So my contracts, my privacy policies, terms of service, all of that. Um, they're US based so I have had to alter them as a Canadian based company. Um, but they're really great uh, service to use they provide basically anything you could could want legal wise um, so I will leave a link to this company as well as a code to use for 10% off so once you've set up your contract in here and it has all the information that you want then I do also suggest setting up an email to go with this so that when you send them the contract it's kind of all set up for you so create a new email in this email, you can tell them, you know, this is a link to your contract, give them a timeline for when it needs to be completed, how to complete it, um, how to get a hold of you if they have questions or problems, that sort of stuff. So give them all the basis for completing that contract. Then you're going to repeat the exact same thing with your invoice. Go to invoices, create a new invoice. Again, there is some ones that are provided for you inside of HoneyBook. So you can create, you know, your package name and all that. You can create a payment schedule when they need to pay it by. And then again, create an email to go with this uh, invoice along the same lines as the contract telling them, you know, this is a link to your invoice. This is how you complete it. This is when it needs to be completed by all of that sort of stuff. Once you have all of that set up, this is the beauty of HoneyBook projects and automations. So at this point, what will happen is somebody will complete a form on your website, they'll book a call with you, and they'll be sent a series of emails to prepare them for that call. You will get a notification saying, hey, somebody has started an inquiry with you. 
and you come into HoneyBook and you see, oh, I have a new inquiry here. So I click on this. I can then see all of their answers in here to the form they completed, any emails that were sent out to them and whether they've read them. Um, and then all I need to do is click create new. I'm going to create a contract, choose the template that I created. And then I can go through and complete any of the fields that I need to. And then I'm going to select to send it to them via email. I'm going to select the contract template that I chose and then I can send it off to them. So super quick. I'm going to do the exact same thing with my invoice. So I'm going to click create new invoice, choose my invoice template edit it to match this particular client, click to review the email, select the invoice template that I chose and click send. So depending on how much you have to change within the contract and invoice, this is super quick. Um, and you then have a record of everything you've sent them. So it will tell you that you've sent those particular emails, whether they've read it, saw it, all that kind of stuff. You can also put you know, where they came from, you know, how they found you, and all that sort of stuff. So there's tons of stuff inside this project that you can do. We'll keep in complete track of all of the communication you have with this client, their, their payments, their contracts, and everything all in one place, making sure that your client has a seamless process through you with very minimal effort on your part. So all together, you should now have it set up that a client can fill out a form and book a call with you get a bunch of emails automatically to set them up for that call and then receive their contract and invoice very quickly from you and it all be tracked and recorded inside of this HoneyBook project. So don't forget I have provided a link for 50% off your first year in HoneyBook um, below as well as a link for contracts and templates from the Creative Law Shop with 10% off those as well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can sign up for the freebie in the footer to be notified when I post a new tutorial. Until then, that is how you set up contracts and invoices within a project in HoneyBook.